always knew I was going to come here, always. It was my a lot of my family have come to Scotland and I always knew from a young age that I was going to come here and then the Open Day just kind of made me want to come here more. Well, I've always had a construction background from my family and um, yeah, Aberdeen was quite close to where I live and this was the only place I applied for. Because <laughs> it's a different kind of school because I know other people that go to other kind of architectural schools and they're more engineering based but this one is a lot more architecture so it's more design. We design for the first like three weeks and then we build the building basically. Like we do everything to build the building and then at the, the end we have the to... Building. And present the building as it were, so it's a nice journey through, you know, how to make a building. It's different from architecture. Yeah, you're not going straight into detailing. You yeah. Figure out how the space is working that fast. And we do heating and, and lighting and all that as well. So. The environmental stuff as well. Yeah. Sustainable. And... Quite a versatile course. Well, we, well, Copenhagen as a city is very like inspiring for architects. So we went over, had a look around, but it actually made me go on a half a year study trip so it really was something for me anyway. It was kind of an opener, eye opener to what it's going to be like but... Yeah, it was good to get a different outlook instead of just looking at other rain all the time as well so it was good that way as well. Nightlife there too. <laughs> I was in third year in the second semester I applied for a placement at Robertson's and um, I was successful and I definitely learned a lot while I was there and gained a lot of confidence and a lot of knowledge in the industry that I want to go in because I'm interested in construction. And um, at the end I secured a graduate scheme and I've been working there at weekends and the odd day through the week and yeah, that's it. It's such a good course. I'm not just being biased but I generally, I generally love my course. Like we learned so much of how to like build a building and how to like, and you learn management skills, you learn how to deal with difficult people because you're always going to have difficult clients with architecture. And you learn how to deal with them. Yeah, definitely. Or project management skills. And you maybe not want to go into architecture for another field, but there's obviously there's other There's so much more you can, you can yeah, down. like architecture, surveying, built environment stuff. Oil and gas, all these skills you can take from this course. And, go into that different and with this course, you do get, like Andy said, like placement opportunities, and I got to study abroad for six months. Like, so it's kind of opportunities you don't often get with other courses. So I would definitely say we'll do. The lecturers <laughs> here are really helpful and friendly. Oh, absolutely. We're like best friends. Uh, I'm Jonathan Scott. Uh, I'm a course leader for uh, Architectural Technology. Well, the, the courses here are, are quite robust. It's uh, the only course, AT course, in Scotland that is. Um, um, taught alongside architecture uh, as well as surveying uh, and it's a, it's a proper construction um, related uh, school um, which is fairly unique uh, within itself within the UK not in, in, in Scotland. Um, because of that, stage one, uh, you are taught um, with other uh, architects, with other students uh, within the school um, in a range of different modules and different ways of teaching, so group work, individual work. Um, within those modules, uh, individual modules, but they are integrated modules as well. So uh, there's a level of uh, AT expertise within stage one, but the the kind of general uh, uh, teaching mode is is engaging in stage one. Gives you opportunity to maybe diverse your skills um, into different fields if you want to go to other courses um, at the end of the year. Uh, if you are of a, uh, got an excellent first year under your belt. In second year and third year and fourth year, you gradually become more AT specific and you um, develop your skills as an AT. We've had uh, ATs go into all sorts. If you take myself as an example, I went to academia. Um, that's certainly an option. Um, a lot of our guys, given that it's Aberdeen, go into oil and gas as well, energy sector, um, not necessarily in, in um, just kind of Rathman kind of. Uh, um, field, but also project managers and uh, even document control, that kind of stuff. Anything that has um, required problem solving skills, communication skills and so on. Which is uh, what you get from the school, never mind just the AD course. Um, so a lot of our well, whole graduates go into uh, the energy sector. Um, the fact that the students are uh, keyed into uh, key requirements in the coming years, and, uh, such as uh, awareness of sustainability, awareness of uh, building information modelling skills it seems to be what's attracting employers to our students at this current time. And as the, um, the industry develops and uh, re requires uh, these skills, the more 
Arsenal's become more, uh, more unplayable, uh, one could argue anyway.